Hello YouTube, Luigi here. You're looking at a Kissing Crane KC44 Farmer's Work Knife the size of a Case Sodbuster Junior. Now Case trademarked the name Sodbuster, so other companies have been forced to call theirs Dirt Buster, Turf Buster, Boker calls theirs the Range Buster, and apparently Kissing Crane calls theirs a Farmer's Work Knife. Basically, it's the same pattern. Or is it? This one has a slightly different blade configuration. Now, I thought this being a little sod buster, this would be a simple, short, two-minute type video. It's The more I dug into this, the more I researched this, the more confusing, if not intriguing, this whole story became. Let's open it up. I won't keep you in suspense. It's got a nail nick and a tough pull. Uh, first, I'll take you through this, then we'll talk about all the mystery here. This is a three and a quarter inch. I believe it's a 440C because the Kissing Crane Brown Mule, very similar knife, is also 440C. Or the Kissing Crane uh, Small Sod Buster with Pack of Wood is 440C. So I'm assuming this is. 440C here. It, it does not have the traditional sod buster blade. Look at that. That is clearly, look at that straight line. That is clearly a clip. A traditional sod buster has a bull nose. It's almost a straight back bull nose. Very, very little drop here. This is your traditional sod buster shape. And this, by the way, is the Boker Range Buster. Large. It's the only sod buster I can find on the planet with a back lock. And so that makes it valuable to some people. This is my brother's. I own one of these as well. Back to this. Looks like sod buster, but it ain't got the right sod buster blade. It's got a big pronounced nail nick, which it needs with that heavy pull, man. That was a tough pull. It's got a tank snap. You see the kissing cranes. It's got acid estrogens on the blade would say black black angus there's really uh nothing on this side one brass pool this is a black abs handle and it's got like sandblasting on the grip surfaces and it's they interrupt the sandblasting for the top edge which i thought was a mistake you can clearly see the line of the mold the injection mold this, this is not this is an inexpensive beater working man's knife. So uh, I'm not tearing it apart for fit and finish, but you need to know this. If you're looking for a piece of jewelry, this ain't your knife. You can see that line, that mold line there. I didn't think it was wise to interrupt the texturing on the from the surface to the top, to the spine uh, surface, I, I back edge. I, I don't think that was a wise decision. But it's got your typical one brass pin which most sod busters do. Now, as I got into this, I saw other kissing crane farmers work knives. So let's call them sod busters just to get over that. That had that beautiful red on nickel silver kissing crane uh, shield. And it was very distinctive. And I wondered why this one didn't have it. And then I saw timber wolf knives made in China that had the exact same black Angus etching on the blade. And Timberwolf had a very nice red on nickel silver bolster uh, uh, shield as well. So I'm wondering where this low rent ABS handle unshielded kissing crane German knife came from when the other kissing cranes had the beautiful shield on it. That you know red kissing cranes on a nickel silver bolster. So it's just. Uh, Kind of strange, and yet the Timberwolves, uh, with their red bolster, looked like a direct copy, and it even had the same, even had the exact same black Angus etching on it. So the more and more I got into this, the more I discovered there were other knives out there. Kissing Crane makes a brown mule, which looks exactly like this, except it's got a brown mule acid etching instead of the black Angus. Um, so you can evaluate this for yourself. Personally, I 
like the uh, shield that came with some kissing crane models, they even like the shield that comes on the Chinese Timberwolf model. I just thought it was very distinctive, red on nickel, still red. Looked good. Nonetheless, this is the knife I have. This is the knife I pulled out of my brother's drawer. This is the knife I'm showing you. It's about an $8 knife. So it is exactly what it claims to be, a beater work knife. Nothing fancy here. All right, there you go. The Kissing Crane KC44. Um, and there are Sodbuster Juniors all over the place. There's many to choose from. This is one of them. Okay? Take good care. God bless you. I love you all. Happy Thanksgiving Day, everybody. I'm sorry it's Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. <laughs>